What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back with a bit of a catch up mail day here. Uh, we have been getting pummeled with storm after storm after storm. Uh, won't be able to see it from this camera angle, but it's actually snowing as we speak. Uh, we've got nowhere left to put it at this point. It is just obnoxious out there. So, uh, another snowed in uh, car mail, uh, card mail day. Uh, first, I picked up a card for somebody else, and one of the extras in there, I guess they use, instead of using like padding, they just use base cards. It was a T.Y. Hilton Contenders base, so not too shabby. Uh, picked up this lot of uh, Vic Ballard uh, autograph stuff. Figured it would be a good time to pick up on him since he's uh, on the rehab trail. Um, and I noticed uh, just because of the two different years that these cars were produced that uh, he's already changed his signature so uh, here's his playbook auto to 140 rookie auto right there and then you'll notice this 2013 uh, patch auto to 125 he's shortened it to just V Ballard so very similar to what uh, what Huddy did and it's a, a lot less distinct D at the end as well I don't know if it was just that card in particular but uh, it looks like the signatures change, and then here's back to uh, 2012. The uh, reason why I locked into this was there was a National Treasures auto in there, which I did not have. So you see some some pretty distinct differences between the two signatures right there, going from one year to the other. Uh, his hands probably cramping up from doing all the signing. Uh, got these two cards, uh, some best offer negotiations uh, out of 450. I don't usually do the college issue stuff, but it was only a dollar, so I threw it in there. Uh, Ultimate Collection, Dwayne Allen, and then uh, out of 50, Reggie Wayne Prime Cuts Dual Patch. So, keeping on that theme, Reggie Wayne Exquisite. Uh, patch out of 75. This is uh, 2009. Could not believe I didn't have one of these already. Got some some nice stitching, some good color separation there. All good things. On to some MMA stuff. Uh, got three cards from the same seller. Uh, did not have an auto of this guy. Uh, Yoshihiro Akiyama, also known as Sexyama, on the old school holofoil signature board there. I don't know, I guess they put, maybe they sent those to Japan like that. Um, got a 2010 knockout full contact, not numbered, uh, on-card auto of current heavyweight champion Kane Velasquez. I put the 2011 title shot that I, autograph of his that I had up because I had not seen one online in quite some time, and it's got immediate interest. So if anybody's looking for the... Um, the Kane Tile Shot Auto, which is that guy here, let me know. Uh, none in completed that I could find, so I had to go on to uh, Worth Point to just try to get a, a gauge of what they should be selling for. And then finally, the card that got me uh, locked in, 2009 UFC Round 1 Auto uh, with the nickname inscription, Chris the Crippler Levin, or now Chris, the Retired Levin, I guess he's going by, but uh, very nice, I did not have that one, so I've got a few round ones now. Uh, now from on to the other sellers, uh, did a best offer negotiation for this sticker auto, Finest Moments of Misha Tate. Got a, uh, a different Clay Guida auto for the PC out of 188, the uh, UFC Finest Contenders sticker auto. And uh, I did not have this dual auto, and when I got a chance to uh, get it gr graded, you guys know I love me some graded, uh, out of uh, 2010 Leaf MMA Red Dual Showdown auto out of 100, Cowboy Donald Cerrone and Anthony Njokawani. BGS9 with a 9 auto, and that's because I believe both of them, maybe it was just Cowboy, went off the sticker. Yeah, okay, so Cowboy went off the sticker twice, so that's, that's where they get you with the with the 9 subgrade on the auto. 
Uh, now on to some Huddy stuff. Uh, this card was initially mistitled, and then I questioned the seller about that, about his shipping, because he's only at like a dollar shipping, but he, he shipped everything right. Uh, and I thought I had actually lost this card uh, because they had three packages all set to be delivered that were all uh, out for delivery, and this one was never scanned as delivered and wasn't in the box, and it didn't make it to me until the following week. So I was in limbo for a few days there, but... Uh, 2013 Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor Tim Hudson numbered 7 of 10. And as best as I can tell, he is not in 2014 Top Series 1. I don't know between the injury and uh, the, you know, the tr changing teams, if they just, they're waiting for round 2 for him or what, but he is not in Series 1. Uh, one of my favorite sets, uh, 2009 uh, Spectrum Swatches. Uh, Prime, number 16 of 25. Nice two-color, three-break patch with stitching. And I'd never seen anything like this, but I looked it up, and there are a few others like this, so I got this on a quick buy it now. Um, 2004 uh, National Collectors Convention, uh, Don Russ World Series 1 of 1. So this is like a probably like a rapper redemption from back in the day, 10 years ago. And so they didn't have the whole organized uh, giveaway process, so they probably just took a regular base version of one of these and just slapped that sticker on there. So an interesting and new variation of 101s, and in with it, it was this uh, 1993 Leaf Series 2 baseball pack. So I'm going to get in a quick junk wax break right in the middle of this video. Yeah, buddy. I broke so much of this stuff back in the day. Oh yeah, and it's it's the photo board stock, so it's all stuck together. Okay, so we've got uh, Mike Maddox. Oh, there we go. Shout out to five five on five two. Bo Jackson in a White Sox uni, looking right. Uh, Dave Nilsson, Joe Carter, the hero of the '93 World Series. Jim Fergosi passed away. He was actually the opposing manager in that World Series for the Phillies. Bruce Hurst, Tim Pugh for the Reds, oh, Matt Ferris, uh, John Burkett, Kevin Seitzer, Mel Rojas, Darren Holmes, Mike Stanton, not Giancarlo, Jeff Reardon, Brian Harvey, and finish it off with a Randy Big Unit Johnson. But, I mean, clearly, the highlight of the pack was the Bo Jackson. So, that'll get set aside for a certain bearded fellow we all know. Uh, a couple more things here. We've got uh, a trade with B-Boy711, or on YouTube, it's MMA B-Boy711. So, B-Boy711 is uh, the biggest Mark Munoz collector I know. And he... Uh, is very happy to tell you as such. So um, I did a deal with him, and these are the cards that came back. Uh, out of 188, USA Flag Parallel from 2013, I believe this is Knockout. Uh, if it's not Knockout, it's bold, not Bloodlines. I always get these products mis mixed up, and I wish they would put the damn names on the back. Cowboy Cerrone. I, just, I saw it in this buck, and I just knew I had to have it. Um, a Cerrone Auto I did not have. Uh, 2011 title shot. First auto, way the hell off sticker, but uh, still for the Cowboy Cerrone PC. And this is such a neat looking set. Uh, out of 50, uh, 2013 Bloodlines Octagon side auto of Uriah Faber with this stupid thing on top of his head, tied up his hair. So, if anybody sees the Clay Guida auto, one of these and wants the deal for it, let me know. So, Oliver, I appreciate it, but if anybody has anything Mark Munoz, uh, please, please, please uh, contact him. Again, that's uh, bboy711 or MMA bboy711 on uh, YouTube. So. And finally, uh, another purchase from George. Of course, it came with extras. Um, it's a 2013 knockout out of 36 of Uriah Faber. The key, CA Kid, California Kid. So, George, as always, stellar job, bud. Very happy with it. Uh, you rock. 
Um, I'm not going to show the extras because you see that wall of boxes, all these small boxes in the background? That means good things for you guys. Uh, a contest is a brewing. So, uh, get to... Ooh, contest! Thank you for the commentary, D. So, a uh, contest is coming, and I will have details of that once uh, everything for it is, is in and we're ready to go. Alright, YouTube. Peace.